Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is Angles as part of my IGCSE exam question series. If you do find this useful, please do like and subscribe. There are some easy questions at the start, some trickier ones at the end. Let's get into it. Okay, we have here a parallelogram and we have an isosceles triangle. So for a parallelogram, opposite angles will be equal and also adjacent angles will add to 180. So I would do 180 minus 58 is equal to 122. So that would be 122. It does say give a reason for each stage of your working. So I'll write that down now. Adjacent angles in parallelograms add to 180. Next step is that this angle in here is 122. So I would write the angle F D E is equal to 122 and I have to give a reason for it. And that is that vertically opposite angles are equal. And then finally the last calculation I'll do to work out um, this angle up here is I would do 180 minus 122, which will give me what's left over in that triangle, and then divide it by two because those two angles are equal. And that will give me 29. And of course, I've got, again, I've got to give a reason for it. So I will say that isosceles triangles have two equal angles, and we are done. Okay, next question, and we need to work out the angle EAB, which is the angle EAB, so it's this one here at the top. And the first angle I'm going to calculate is this one in here, and this one is 63. And the reason why is because they are corresponding. So I'll write AEB is 63 as corresponding angles are equal. And the next one I will do is this angle in here, which we will get by doing 180 minus 148, which is 32. And I will write that ABE is 32 as angles on a straight line add to 180. And then the final calculation I will need to do will be 180 minus 63 minus 32, and that is 85. So I can say that the angle I'm looking for, EAB, is equal to 180 minus 63 minus 32, which is equal to 85, as angles in a triangle add to 180. And we're done. Next question, we have some parallel lines, and we have an isosceles triangle, because these two are the same. And it says find angle A, B, G. So we're looking for this angle in here. Okay, I'm going to start with the isosceles triangle. So we know the angles at the bottom of an isosceles triangle are the same. So this is 65. So my other angle will be 180 minus 65 minus 65, which is 50. So this up here is 50. And next, what I'm going to use is corresponding, um, sorry, alternate angles. So let's make a Z across here, here, and here. And by doing so, the angles on this side should equal the angles up here by alternate angle rule. Now that pink angle down the bottom is 38 plus 65, which is 103, which means this up here is 103. And now I can look at angles along this straight line here. I know they add to 180. So the angle which I'm looking for will be 180 minus 103 minus 50. And it doesn't say anything about giving reasons for your answers for this question, so I don't need to do any writing, just showing my calculations. And it's 27. Lovely. 
Okay, here is a tricky question. It says that these two are straight lines, and it says that uh, it says show that these two lines are parallel. Give reasons for your working. Okay, so the first thing I'll notice that because B C D is a um, is a straight line, then we know that the angles along that straight line must add to 180. So I can say that 4x plus 15 must uh, plus 30x minus 5 must equal 180. And I can write because angles on a straight line add to 180. Okay, let's solve this then. So I've got 34 x's and I've got 15 minus 5 which is plus 10 and that equals 180. So 34 x if I take away 10 is equal to 170. So 170 divided by 34 is 5. So x equals 5. So now what I can do is I can calculate what these actual angles are. So the first one is 4 times 5 plus 15. So that's 35 in here, and I'll write that on nice and clearly. The next one is 30 times 5 minus 5, which is 145. And this one down the bottom is 20 times 5 plus 45 which is also 145. And that's the key part. And I'm going to write now that the angle D, that's the symbol for angle, D, C, F, which is this one here, is equal to 145. And the angle A, F, C is equal to 145. And you can say, therefore, as alternate angles on parallel lines are equal, the two lines must be parallel. And we've done. We've shown that they are two parallel lines. We're full working. Fantastic. Okay, final tricky question. We have a hexagon and we have two parallel lines and it says work out the obtuse angle of DEF. So we're looking for this angle in here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is try to work out all the angles inside of a hexagon. Now I know for my polygon rules that the number of sides minus 2 times by 180 is the total interior angles. A hexagon has six sides, so 6 minus 2 times 180 gives me a total of um, 4 times 180, which is 720. Okay, the next thing I can spot is I know this angle. And that's because of these parallel lines. And if the parallel lines and the line between them make a C, it means these two angles are co-interior, which means they must add to 180. So the one at the top is 180 minus 42, and that goes in there, that's 138. And that means now we can work out this green angle here because we have all other five of the angles in the polygon, which is a hexagon. So we could do 720 minus 50, minus 96, minus 138, minus 144, and minus 42. And this gives me 250. So my final, um, answer for x will be 360 minus 250, 
which is 110. So we have the angle is equal to 110. And that's angles done. Thanks very much for watching. If you do like it and you found it useful, then please do like the video and subscribe. But for now, let's move on to the next topic.